we are in that here, right? We want to think about the how likely it is to find two students with the same birthday when the class has uh, 40 students. So instead of uh, so it's gonna be hard to start with uh, 40 students sometimes. So let's look at uh, an easier case. So the smaller case that might be interesting maybe uh, a class with with one student, but that's too easy, right? If you have one student, then you know there there won't be any two students. So let's start with two students. Okay, so let's start with two pe people in the room. Okay, now um, there might be some uh, problem when you want to talk about probabilities. So we haven't defined what are probabilities. We 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 do that pretty soon when we talk about discrete probabilities, but uh, intuitively, um, if we uh, we can think about probability that uh, of how likely something would occur, right? So we can do that by start by counting the number of all possibilities and the number of uh, the case that we are interested in, right? So. And then the probability, if we assume that all pos possibilities are equally likely, then we can calculate the probability as the ratio between the two. For example, if there are uh, 50 possible outcomes and, and 30 of them are the one we are interested in, then the probability is uh, 30, 30 over 50, which is 0 0.6. So that's uh, that's yeah, it's fairly likely, right? Not not that much, but more than a half. Okay. So let's come come back and think about two people in the room. Okay. All right. So we have to think about how many possible birthdays can two people have. Um, we assume that a year has uh, three hundred sixty-six days. So if you have two people, the first person has. Uh, 366 choices and the um, uh, the first person has this many choices and the second person can choose independently so the number of choices um, is the multiplication of this so it's uh, 366 uh, square now let's get back how many possible way can uh, they have the same birthday uh, since each person has uh, 366 choice the first person has you know can pick anyone right any day in on a year but then the second one has to pick the same day so there are only 366 ways so the probability that so when I think about the probability so it is 366 over 366 square and that's uh, this much uh, it is fairly unlikely so it's less than um, so it's like twice in in a thousand okay so it's very very in unlikely okay now let's uh, increase the number of people. So suppose we have, uh, say, uh, three people. Okay, when we have three people, uh, we have to think in the same way. So how many possible birthday can three people have? Again, we can use the same argument to say that okay, the first everyone has uh, 366 choices and they can pick anything, right, independently. So this is the number of choices. Now we, we let's think about how many ways can at least two of them share the same birthday. But now we have uh, uh, three students. If they share the same birthday, it can be the case that the first two share, the, the last one uh, do not. Or maybe this pair shares the same birthday, or maybe this, or maybe everyone has the same birthday. So there are many cases when you think about the 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 the, the, the case that we we are interested in. Okay, uh, so we we would do the the inward. So, so we would think about, so there are many cases. So let's think about the case when no one shared the same birthday. Okay, so it's it'd be easier to analyze. So the first person has uh, 366 choice. So he picked one, right, he picks one. Now the second person cannot pick the same day, right, because otherwise there'll be two of them sharing the same birthday. So the second one has, uh, one less choice so the second one has only 365 choices uh, the last one has 364 choices if you count them all it's this this many okay so when we think about the probability so we can divide this by 366 cube and this is the probability that 
uh, we don't find any pair with the same birthday. So it's uh, and and this is the, uh, this is the number of order subsets, right? If you remember. Okay, so let's go back and think about the probability. So, so you, you divide this with that, and we get this uh, 0.9918. So the probability that two of them share a birthday is this 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 much, and this is like twice, uh, no, not twice, like four times from the case when you have. So this one like 0 0.3, this is 0 0.8 something. So like twice. Yes, so let's add more people, right? So how about if you have uh, 40 people, okay? So how many possible birthday can 40 people have? Again, we can use the uh, same argument, right? So this is the number of possible birthdays. Now, uh, how many possible ways they do not uh, share, share any birthday? Um, so this is number of other subset with 40 elements. Of and of this many sets, okay. So it's basically this. This is the thing, right? So, so then there are like forty terms here, right? So the probability that uh, forty people do not share any birthday uh, is this. This, all right. So this is like so. So 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 how big is this? Can we use a calculator to find out the the value? It's like 40 terms. So if you use a calculator, then it takes you some time, right? So uh, we didn't know how, how small it is. And uh, anyway, with a, with, with a computer, we can compute the exact value of this quantity. So, so instead of just uh, trying to analyze it, uh, let's, let's look at some picture and, and, and see the ballpark about uh, the, the actual value um, using uh, one of my favorite tool online this is ca uh, called Wolfram Alpha. So, so we look at that. All right. So uh, this is the web Wolfram Alpha. You can search for it. So let's figure out the actual value of that quantity. So it's pretty hard to to do the actual calculation. So let's uh, get, let me do this. So it's three hundred sixty six factorial over. Uh, 366 minus 40 factorial, right? So that's the first term. And we divide this by uh, 366 uh, to the 40. Okay, so let's see the value. So it takes some, maybe a few seconds for this to figure out. So it's uh, exact result. So it's, uh, oh, what is that? Okay, so the decimal approximation is this. So, oh, sorry. Um, no, no, no. Go back. You can see this. Uh, this is like about ten uh, percent. Oh, you cannot zoom it. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so this is like about ten percent. So you have ten percent of not. Uh, if you have forty people, you have ten percent of not having anyone with the same uh, birthday, okay? Um, now, um, with Wolfram Alpha, we can do s many things. So, so, okay, so this is just the value for uh, the case when you have uh, 40 students, right? So we can make it uh, plot the number. So let's, instead of having 40, so replace it with uh, uh, some, some um, variable k. So let's do it, so see if it can tell us anything. So the Wolfram Alpha tried to uh, resolve it for us and it gives us this. Okay, so let me uh, try to zoom in with, uh, okay, Firefox. Okay, we can see that, so this is the probability that um, having this many people and, and you don't, you don't get anyone with the same, with the same uh, birthday. So it's start like that and keep dropping like this. So What's the number if you want to have uh, like half ch of the chance for picking the student of the same birthday? So it's if you look at this, this is about like 20 something, right? 22, 23. Then the probability drops below a half. So if you want to bet, uh, then you should start when you have at least like 20 students. And if you have like 50 students, then uh, it's very likely, okay? Right, so this this is the, the new technology that you can use. 
when you want to figure out and want to see some 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 graphs and it's really it's fairly helpful okay all right um, okay so um, in the next clip uh, we will actually try to analyze and, and try to come up with an approximation of these quantities um, so that we, we, we can do that without the Wolfram Alpha and maybe you, we, we learn some new properties of uh, uh, some interesting tools in mathematics.